हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ सुभाष नगर से फ्रॉम श्री दिगंबर जैन गुरुकुल हाई स्कूल सोलापुर आई शेल वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस सेशन ऑफ टेंथ मैथमेटिक्स पार्ट फर्स्ट द टॉपिक इज लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स पार्ट टू इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन ग्राफ ऑफ ए लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स ग्राफिकल मेथड ऑफ सॉल्विंग लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स एंड प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन दिस कंटेंट फ्रेंड्स In the previous session of this topic, linear equations in two variables, we have been discussed with the following important subtopics. Those are introduction to the linear equations in two variables, linear equations in two variables, definition, simultaneous linear equations, definition, different methods of solving linear equations, and problems based on these contents. Friends, today. we are going to discuss on the graphical method of solving linear equations in two variables friends in the previous standards we learnt that the graph of a linear equation in two variables is a straight line the ordered pair which satisfies the equation is a solution of that equation the ordered pair represents a point on that line for example if you want to draw a graph of 2x minus y is equal to 4 then you have to write four ordered pairs here 2x minus y is equal to 4 therefore you can write y is equal to 2x minus 4 here to obtain the ordered pair we simply we you have to take x is equal to 0 and then y is equal to 0 you are getting two pairs remaining two pairs can be calculated by considering the x values see this is the table where the value of x are considered And value of y could be getting from the above equation. If x is equal to zero in the above equation, you are getting y is equal to minus four. X is two, then y is equal to zero. Since two twos are four, four minus four is zero. If x is three, three twos are six minus four is two. If x is minus one, then two into minus one that is minus two, minus two, minus four that will be minus six. Here these points zero, minus four, two, zero, three, two, minus one, minus six. You have to plot on the graph. and the nature of the graph is like this how to plot the points on a graph that you have already learned from the previous standards only that point you have to join and you are getting a straight line friends steps to follow the drawing a graph of linear equations into variables first is convert the given equation in the form y is equal to mx plus c Then find at least four ordered pairs for a given equation. This is very important. Why four is to be considered? That I shall tell you now. Draw x-axis, y-axis on the graph paper and plot the points. Join the points marked on the graph paper to get a straight line which represent the given equation graphically. Now, friends, why four ordered pairs? If two points are sufficient to represent a line, that we know because in geometry you learned. that one and only one line passes through two distinct points but if coordinates of one of the two points are wrong then you will not get a correct line therefore two should not be sufficient if you plot three points and if they are not collinear then it is understood that one of the point is wrongly plotted but it is not easy to identify the incorrect point so three is also insufficient if you consider four what will happen See, if we plot four points, it is almost certain that three of them will be collinear. So, friends, now uh, we will see the graphical method to solve the linear equations in two variables. To solve systems of equations or simultaneous equations by the graphical method, we draw the graph for each of the equations and look for a point of intersection between the two graphs. The coordinates of the point of intersection would be the solution of the system of equations. If the two graphs do not intersect which means that they are parallel then there is no solution friends a solution of a system of two equations in two variables is an ordered pair of numbers that makes both equations true so the numbers in the ordered pair corresponding to the variables in alphabetical order so what can happen when two lines are graphed on the same coordinate plane friends the graph intersect at one point the system is consistent and has one solution since neither equation is a multiple of the other so they are independent second the graphs are parallel the system is inconsistent 
because there is no solution since the equations are not equivalent they are independent equations have the same graph the system is consistent and has an infinite number of solutions the equations are independent since they are equivalent now friends uh, we will see some problems problem number 1 let us solve the following simultaneous equations graphically x plus y is equal to 6 this is the first equation and x minus y is equal to 4 this is the second equation we have to prepare the table and plot those points on the graph first the given simultaneous equation number 1 x plus y is equal to 6 therefore it should be written in the y form therefore y is equal to 6 minus x we will consider the different values of x and you are getting the value of y it should be placed in the table it could be like this if x is 6 then y is x is 6 y is 0 if x is 0 y is 6 if x is 3 then y is 3 if x is 4 y is 2 the respective value when we are keeping in the above equation y is equal to 6 minus x you are getting the values of y and at the end third row you are getting the x y coordinates and these coordinates we have to plot in the graph if we join these four points you are getting a straight line now we will consider the second equation x minus y is equal to 4 therefore y is equal to x minus 4 therefore if x is 0 y is minus 4 x is 4 y is 0 if x is 2 y is minus 2 and x is 5 y is 1 since x value is 0 0 minus 4 is minus 4 x 4 minus 4 is 0 x is 2 2 minus 4 that is minus 2 5 minus 4 that is 1 and you are getting in the third row the different coordinates that you have to plot in the graph paper so the nature of the graph is like this you can see in the figure the two lines x plus y is equal to 6 and x minus y is equal to 4 are meeting in the first quadrant and the point of intersection the coordinates of the point of intersection are 5 and 1 so x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 1 is the solution of the simultaneous equation x plus y is equal to 6 and x minus y is equal to 4. Let us consider one more problem that you will get clear idea regarding solving such problems. Solve the following simultaneous equations graphically x plus y is equal to 0 to x minus y is equal to 9. These two are the equations. Let us take the first equation that is x plus y is equal to 0 means y is equal to minus x. The table will be like this. The value different values of x if x is 0 y is also 0 if, is, if x is 2 y is minus 2 if x is minus 2 minus of minus 2 is plus 2 y is plus 2 if x is minus 1 then y is plus 1 plot these points on the graph paper we will consider the second equation 2x minus y is equal to 9 therefore y is equal to 2x minus 9 therefore the nature of the table is like this if we consider x is equal to 0 then y is minus 9 if x is 2 2 to 0 4 4 minus 9 is minus 5 if x is 5 5 to 0 10 minus 9 is 1 if x is 4 4 to 0 8 minus 9 is minus 1 so the points are on the third rows 0 minus 9 2 minus 5 5 1 and 4 minus 1 plot on the graph paper and join them for the first equation as well as the second equation the nature of the graph is like this and those two lines are intersecting in the fourth quadrant so the point of intersection are 3 and minus 3 therefore x is equal to 3 and y is equal to minus 3 is the solution of the simultaneous equation x plus y is equal to 6 0 and 2x minus y is equal to 9 let us take uh, one more uh, problem the little bit having the coordinate of y solve the following simultaneous equations graphically 3x minus 4 y is equal to minus 7 and 5x minus 2 y is equal to 0 friends will consider uh, the given simultaneous equation first is 3x minus 4y is equal to minus 7 therefore 4y is equal to 3x plus 7 therefore y is equal to 3x plus 7 divided by 4 now we will prepare a table by considering the different values of x if you consider x is equal to 1 3 1s are 3 minus 3 plus 7 that is 4 4 upon 4 is 1 y value is 1 if x is minus 5 5 3s are 15 minus 15 plus 7 you have to carry the calculation and after doing simplification you are getting y is minus 2 if x is 3 at that time y is 4 if x is 5 and y will come 5.5 you have to plot these points minus 1 1 minus 5 minus 2 3 4 and 5 5.5 on the graph paper and join them you will get a straight line now second equation we will consider 5x minus 2y is equal to 0 therefore 2y is equal to 5x therefore y is equal to 5 by 2 into x 
Consider different values of x and prepare a table. If x is 0, then y is equal to 0. If x is 2, 2 to get cancels, you are getting 5. x is minus 2, minus 2 to get cancels, and the result is minus 5. And if x is 1, then y is 2.5. And the point you have to plot are 0, 0, 2, 5, minus 2, minus 5, 1, and 2.5. If you plot these four points and join, you are getting a straight line. The nature of the graph is like this, and these two lines are meeting in first quadrant. So, the coordinates of the point of intersection of these two lines is 1 and 2.5. So, x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2.5 is the solution of the simultaneous equation 3x minus 4 y is equal to minus 7 and 5x minus 2 y is equal to 0. Friends, three problems we have been discussed, these are very important. Like that, any problem you can solve, practice at the home. So, what we have been discussed today is graphical method to solve the linear equations in two variables steps to follow the drawing graph of a linear equation in two variables then problems based on this content so for you i am giving you problems try at the home solve the simultaneous equation graphically x plus y is equal to 5 and x minus y is equal to 3 second one uh, solve the simultaneous equation graphically 3x minus y is equal to 2 and 2x minus y is equal to 3 third one solve the simultaneous equations graphically 2x minus 3y is equal to 4 and 3y minus x is equal to 4 and the fourth one solve the simultaneous equation graphically x plus y is equal to 4 and 2x minus y is equal to 2 attempt at the home friends before the end of the session you should not forget the famous words of great scientist Albert Einstein he says the most beautiful thing you can experience is the mysterious the most beautiful thing you can experience is the mysterious it is the source of all true art and science so friends if you like this video subscribe and share with these words I would like to say thank you